What is going on everybody? Welcome into the Five Foreign Fisherman YouTube channel. On today's episode, I am gonna be showing you guys how to cure salmon eggs. Now, here in front of me, I have some beautiful fresh uh, salmon eggs, salmon roe, whatever you wanna call it, uh, that I caught out of a spring Chinook yesterday. And uh, we are going to be curing it up uh, to go catch on fall Chinook here in the next couple weeks. As of right now, salmon season is approaching. Um, I've been noticing you, that you guys have been watching my old video, but I am going to be showing you guys a new updated video. And it's a little bit different method than I did last time. It's a little bit method than I've done before, but I think it actually will make like my job easier once I get to the river. So if that's something you guys would like to watch. I'd love it if you stay tuned and uh, let's jump into it. So you're obviously gonna need um, a couple things and right here in front of me, I have, you know, what I guess what we're gonna need. Main thing you're gonna obviously need is eggs. So right when you catch your fish, um, I did a pretty good job in these and I'll show you guys, like, you know, when I take them out, I'll show you. Um, but you're gonna wanna like obviously bonk and bleed your fish right away and try to get as much of the blood out of the fish as you can. Cause on these eggs, there really isn't much blood. So I'm actually not even gonna push any of the blood out of these because I'm gonna be fishing with them in the next couple weeks. So I'm really not too worried about it. Uh, you're gonna need your cures. Now on today's episode, I am using uh, Procure Last Supper. Um, I like the sense that this has in it. I do not like the color. This is the color that I can get my hands on and I don't like the color. So. I like this as an additive, but the color I'm going with, uh, this is Alaska Nitro Baits. This is in cherry, and it gives the eggs just an absolute beautiful red color. Um, I think that this stuff is super deadly for fall Chinook. Mixed with this, I, I just think it's an absolute killer. This is actually what I've been catching my spring Chinook on, so if you guys, uh, I don't really know how many videos I have of that, but um, yeah, if you guys go back and uh, I know there's at least a couple that are being edited and done up right now, so. Yeah, I've been using this mixed along with this, and we have been absolutely slaying them. That's actually what I caught my fish on yesterday, so it's pretty good. Um, you guys are going to need like one gallon bag, at least one. Um, depends on how many eggs you have. If you want to use two, you can use two. Uh, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need plates, and this is just to make it easier. You don't necessarily need the plates, but I'm going to use the plates just so... Uh, I don't get stuff as messy. Then you're gonna need some paper towels. Now, in the last video I did, you guys ripped on me because I used like a whole roll of paper towels. So uh, if you're gonna like, you'll be laying them out on something, use cardboard, use newspaper, um, just anything so you don't waste a whole roll of paper towels. You can literally like go to your local store and they have like those free little th like newspapers, you know, in like little boxes, like out in front of Dairy Mart or whatever. You literally could just go like yoink a couple of those and use them don't take a bunch out of each one just grab like one you really only need one they're free so done that in the past not gonna lie and uh yeah that's literally all you're gonna need you can wear gloves um i personally don't wear gloves i have caught plenty of salmon on like just using my hands i i i don't know i'm not really a big believer in thinking that the fish are like scent picky on my hands i don't know not really a believer in that caught plenty of salmon just doing it this way so i'm always gonna do it this way but if you're a believer in that just get some gloves so uh, i guess let's just go ahead and roll into this um the only thing we're gonna need right now is the scissors and i'm just gonna set these paper towels over here to the side just because i'm doing this in my cooler so i need to free up some space uh, we're gonna need our eggs we don't need this quite yet put those over there then we're gonna need our paper plates here now i'm gonna start with one we're gonna need two i have three for the purpose but we're only gonna start with one here okay gonna take and reach into our bag here and you're gonna take out your eggs and uh if you guys can see there like there's really hardly any blood in there there's a little you know bits and pieces of stuff i got in there but uh back there on the skein there is like no blood at all so what I'm gonna start out by doing is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna butterfly these open just a little bit. Now, what does butterfly mean? Um, as you guys can see here, like look how skinny they are because they're, they're kind of held together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down the middle and, and butterfly them, fold them open. Um, and that is, that's just so that you can, like you can get the cure in them easier. What I like to do is I take my scissors and I just kind of go in them and just kind of cut down the middle. Um, normally I use a butter knife for this, but just to save the purpose of not dirtying up another butter knife. Um, and like I told you guys, I'm actually doing this a different way than I normally do. Um, 
I'm just gonna cut down the middle like this with my scissors here. Being careful not to go through the skein on the back. You don't wanna go too deep into the egg where you go into the skein. And you can just, you know, just be careful with it. Um, curing eggs is kind of a delicate process. So, you know, you just wanna take your time with it and uh, you'll have a good product. Okay, we're almost done here. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Sometimes I like to have a little bit thicker eggs. Um, but yeah, so those are all uh, nice and butterflied open now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut these into bait sized chunks before I cure them. So bait size chunk, I'm gonna just kind of make them all different sizes. Um, you know, just kind of cut through them here and just cut little bait sized chunklets. <laughs> chunklets, I don't even know if that's a word. Comment down below if that's a word. Okay, so this is just gonna make my job once I get to the river a lot easier. I'm not gonna have to carry any bait scissors or anything like that with me. Um, I'll just be able to reach into my container and I'll just be able to grab baits right out, okay? And uh, yeah, we're just actually gonna, we're gonna start with this one. Um, I don't really like see any reason to sit here and like tell you guys how to do it twice because I'm doing the exact same process for that. Um, so now that you have all your eggs cut out here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take them and this is egg side and that's the skein side, okay? You're gonna wanna place them egg side down for now. And I've seen before um, where people like, you know what, we're actually gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it that way just for you guys because um, I don't know, it just kind of seems like it makes sense. So you're gonna take another plate here and for the purpose of this, because I don't have much Alaska nitro left, I mean, you guys can see there's really not much in that bottle. Um, I'm gonna take some of this last supper cure I'm gonna pop the cap open and I'm just gonna sprinkle a light layer down on the plate. Then you're gonna take your eggs, okay? You have the skein side and you have the egg side and you're gonna take them and you're gonna lay them egg side down. You're gonna do that with all of them, okay? Egg side, going down, you're just gonna lay them out here onto your plate like so. And uh, yeah, I might end up having to use both plates. That one was kind of an awful bait, but I'll be able to ball it up make it look pretty good um this is like i said this is actually my first time doing this so yeah wish me luck we're actually going to use our other plate here too. sprinkle some cure down on there egg side down and egg side down okay now i'm going to be using my alaska nitro here as my base because i want it to have that nice dark color in my base so now you can just take this and you're going to sprinkle it Onto, you're just gonna do a nice little light coating here onto the back side of your eggs, okay? Onto the skein side, just like so. And you know, you can be pretty generous with the cure. Um, I've never really had a you know problem with like over curing. So you guys can see there, I have a nice little layering on the back. Now you're just gonna take your hand and you're just gonna kind of rub it in really gently here, down onto the back of the eggs. And now like, and you guys will know, like obviously the camera probably can't see this, but um, it, it's absorbing like into your eggs right now. It's it's hard to explain, but like the, the skein is sucking it in. Um, yeah, literally as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I can see it, uh, it's just sucking it in. And it's, it's gonna firm up those skeins a little bit. So now that you've done that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take them, okay, and you're gonna flip them all back over. And just like so. Okay, now that they're all, these ones are all flipped over. These guys are all flipped over. Um, this is what the paper towels are for. So you can be somewhat clean here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Alaska Nitro, cause like I said, I want this to be a darker colored cure. So I'm using this as my base. Um, I don't know if that really makes much of a difference, but in my opinion, I that's what I'm doing. Um, now I'm gonna take this here, okay? And I'm just gonna do a light coating over all of them. Okay. Oh God, I dumped way too much. Okay. Now we got a light coating of that. Now we're going to take our uh, last supper cure here. Okay. And we're just going to sprinkle it over the top. And uh, like I said, I like the sense that this has. Um, it says on the bottle that it's for like a tidewater formula, you know, coastal tidewater. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I like this stuff. I've been catching a lot of fish on it and I've caught a lot of fish on it last year. So why not repeat it, okay? 
Now you're just going to use your hands. Um, like I said, if you want to wear gloves, you can. If you don't, then you don't. Um, and you're just going to like massage the cure into the eggs. Try And you're going to want to try to get like it on all of the eggs if you can. And so what I mean by massage here, oh, I have a hair in my mouth. Mm. Mm. That cure does not, mm, it's not the deal. Okay. So what I mean by massaging is you're just going to take it and you're going to rub the cure onto all of the eggs and you want to try to cover every single egg with that cure if you can. Okay. And you're just going to sit here and you're going to do that for all of them. Um, and you're, you're going to end up having to add more cure. Like that's just what's going to happen. Um, and I kind of screwed up and I added a little bit too much orange. So these aren't turning out the color exactly that I want them to. Um, but I can just add a little bit more of that uh, Alaska Nitro Red here, and they should darken up how I want them to. Um, with curing eggs, like I said, it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, I don't really, like I've heard people saying, oh, you can add too much cure, you can burn your eggs. I've never burned my eggs, so I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how much it would take to burn your eggs. I've, I've Like I said, I've never had that happen, so I don't know. Okay, and we're just gonna sit here, we're gonna massage these in, and they're uh, looking pretty juicy here. Okay, and I'm really curious how uh, cutting these into base size chunks is gonna work. I think it's gonna work a lot better. Um, it's just gonna be a lot easier when I get to the river. I'm not gonna have to cut up any baits. I'll just be able to you know, grab baits out and, and fish. So, these are looking pretty, pretty fire here. Okay, and I'm just sitting here massaging this all in, okay? And so we'll just go ahead and take these other two off this other plate here. We'll just kind of massage all of that in, uh, just doing our best to get as much cure worked into all these eggs as we can. All right. Okay, that looks pretty fire to me. Now, what you do here is you're gonna wipe your fingers off a little bit. Okay, you're gonna take your gallon bag that you got here and you're going to take your eggs out you're gonna put them into your gallon bag like so okay all my eggs are in my gallon bag there uh get another paper towel i guess here throw my hands off a little bit now obviously um you would like repeat the process with this other skein of eggs you would put them in this bag as well but like i said for the purpose i'm not going to sit here and waste you guys' time um You've already seen how to do it with one. It's the exact same process for the second. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and after you get both skeins cured, cut up whatever you wanna do, um, throw them in your bag. You're gonna zip your bag up here, get out of here, B. And you wanna have some air in there. You guys can see there, I still have some air in my bag, okay? And that's gonna be crucial for the next steps ahead. Um, so now that you have that all cured up, you're gonna wanna put them in the fridge because you want them to be cold, okay? You're gonna go inside, you're gonna put them in the fridge every 15 minutes for the next about two hours you're going to want to pick the bag up and you're just going to want to give it a shake you're going to want to like shake everything up because what's going to happen is these eggs are going to juice out and all the juices are going to be in the bottom of your bag because gravity right they're going to be in the bottom of your bag you want to mix those juices up you want to get them all over all the eggs again and you're going to do that every 15 minutes for two hours okay then pretty much like after the two hours is over, like to be honest with you, I forget about my eggs half the time. I have like a very short attention span. I forget about them, okay? So they're just gonna end up sitting in there for four, five, six hours. I'm gonna be like, hey, I get in the fridge. I'm like, oh man, there's my eggs. Shake them up again, okay? You just wanna sit there and shake them and you wanna do that for about 48 hours. I'm just, whenever you like see your eggs and you're like, man, I should probably shake those up. Just shake them up. Um, you know, and I, that, that's literally it. Uh, then pretty much after about 48 hours, you'll have eggs that are uh, ready to go, ready to rock and roll and ready to fish. Now, if you're gonna like freeze them, um, I would highly suggest using a vacuum sealer, uh, suck all the air out, do everything that you can to get all the air out. You can throw them in the freezer um, and they'll be good until you decide to fish with them. So I hope that uh, this little egg curing video helped you guys. Um, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to repeat the exact same process for this one and uh, throw them back in this bag. They're going to go in the fridge and like I said, every 15 minutes for the next two hours, shake them up. Every, uh, you know, four or five, whatever, however many hours uh, for the next couple days, I'm going to shake them up, um, you know, leave them overnight, 
do all that good stuff, leave them in the fridge, and then uh, they're going to be ready to go fish. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like learned anything from this or this helped you at all, leave a thumbs up on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Hit the little notification bell because uh, we're going to hopefully use these eggs and go catch some fish. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, if you guys go out and go fishing, good luck. Hopefully uh, you have some luck with your eggs if you cure them. And uh, stay fishy. I'll see you guys face on the next episode. Until next time, peace.